Boys and girls, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Once again, we are starting off at the Mojave Outpost, but not for a reason many of you might know or think about or whatever the case may be. We're back because once again, I have just completely missed a star bottle cap because here in, I think this is technically referred to as the barracks building, if you come to the other side of the bar from the entrance next to this empty bottle of Sunset Sarsaparilla, there is a star bottle cap just on the counter ready for taking. So now that we have that taken care of, we can leave the Mojave Outpost and probably never come back here because I don't think there would be a reason ever to come back here except for Cass. We're gonna come back and get Cass at some point, but for the time being that is all we had to come back here for. So in the last episode we did everything at the Mojave Outpost that we could do besides Cassidy of course like I just said. So what does that leave for us to do? The logical next step would be to go to Novak through Nipton like the quest that we have suggests we do. The only issue is, in terms of me as a content creator, what is there actually to do between where I'm standing and walking right now and Novak? Pretty much nothing quest essential in any way, shape, or form other than we're traveling through the wasteland. So today, I'm going to take a bit of a backseat to the main quest of what are we going to do? Let's explore the places around the area I've cleared so far. So going back towards Good Spring and then working our way back to where we already have got to and then... A little bit more progressed towards Novak, let us just go through and get some uh, marked locations that I have not discovered officially yet. So we have made our way back to the good old Good Spring Source, because this is much, much safer than the NCRCF. We're just going to look at our compass and go around and go unlock places that we haven't discovered. Who are you? Are you bad guys? I don't have a gun because I sold my 10mm pistol. Who are you, by the way? Wasteland Adventurer. Okay, so you're not an enemy yet. Let's talk to you, though. What do you have going on, bro? What are you going to tell me? Peace, traveler. Which way to Prim? Who are you? Do you have anything to trade? Who are you? Just a hunter out here killing things and hoping their hides fetch more than the bullets cost to kill them. So, are you cut content? What are you? That's a dangerous question. I could use some stem packs. How about some nice bloat fly steaks in trade? How about no, bro? You have ammo, though. I'll definitely buy some ammo. I'll take all your 5.56. Five, take all your 9 mil, and then I'll let you keep the specialty ammo, but... I'll definitely take that stuff off your hands. I don't think you're a bad guy, but then again, I wouldn't know. But first and foremost, there is... Something over here I never discovered, even though I was here for the quest with Barton Thorne. So let's go figure out what I missed over here. Because it's... Like, right here, where I was walking when I had to do that quest. What did I miss here? Or is it furthermore the other way? It looks like it's on the other side of this. Oh, is this Lone Wolf Radio? Is that where this is at? I thought it was more to the uh, the south, but okay. All right, I guess my map knowledge of New Vegas is a little bit off because I, for some reason, I thought this was more that way, like by Canyon Wreckage, but no, okay. What's the exact lore of this location? There's a lot of uh, stuff on in the internet that have like fan theories and stuff that say they, this was cut content. And, like, there was, like, I don't know the exacts. You can find the fan theories if you'd like about, like, how this place was a uh, a radio station that lured people up here and then the person that was here, like, killed them or whatever. It's an interesting read, but I think it's been debunked as not canon. Are any of these star bottle caps? Um, that one is. So, second star bottle cap of the episode is this one in Lone Wolf Radio. How do I... I don't know how I pick stuff up. I'm just gonna take that stuff and then drop it out of my inventory, because I don't know what my... Drop stuff button is. Everyone is gone. And I am all alone. Let it all end. Typical Twitter post at like 3 a.m. Alright, so, Lone Wolf Radio. Not much here aside from an interesting question mark if you're... A fan of Fallout and then some star bottle caps and like three or four other bottle caps, so 
let's make our way back yonder towards the rest of the wasteland. Next up is going to be this. I don't know what this would be. Okay, no, I lied. This is nothing. We're actually going to that. The skydiving place. Which also, realistically speaking, this place has a... Uh, nothing really going on that's interesting. Other than it's just a place to explore and loot. So, there's the Gene skydiving key and then another bottle cap. That's the third bottle cap of this episode. That wasn't what this was planning to be, but... I mean, damn, we have found three three star bottle caps. So if you pick up the key, you can unlock this. I'm sure if I didn't pick up the key, this would probably be like an average or hard locked locker. And then in here, you have some basic supplies, which for a newcomer to the game, level low level character, a lot of good stuff in here. I just took everything on accident. Cool. Energy cells in that ammo box. Stuff in that ammo box I don't need. Long fused dynamite just to piss off Easy Pete. And then a texture glitch. But other than that, nope, nothing else really in here. And of course, there are the two powder gangers down here. Surprisingly, my Silence 22 pistol took care of them pretty easily. <laughs> did not anticipate that happening, but it did. Just because I have hella ammo for it and I just picked up a shotgun, and if I keep running into powder gangers in this neck of the woods, we're gonna have more of this item. We are just gonna rock with uh, the single shotgun for the time being. Editing this episode and getting it to my 30 minute mark that I try to strive for on these episodes might be a little weird because there's not anything like plot worthy. I'm just kind of walking around the wasteland and going to unmarked loca or marked locations that I haven't discovered. Undiscovered marked locations is what I'm trying to say. My god, that was a sentence that hopefully no one ever has to hear again. If I'm not mistaken, what I'm walking towards right now might be... Or is this the wolf stem? What is this? Good Springs Cave. Right, right, right. I am sorry, whatever animals I'm murdering right now, but thanks to Malcolm Holmes, y'all give me PTSD. I'm not gonna loot their corpses. We are gonna, however, go into Good Springs Cave. We are just going to continue our slaughter of these poor coyotes that probably don't deserve it. Maybe this isn't the Rat Slayer cave. I know the Rat Slayer cave is somewhere towards the beginning of the game. I just don't know where. Clearly. Okay, I looted the guys that were at the end of the cave and I... I think that's actually everything in here. A little disappointing, but again, to be expected to some extent. So that was the Good Springs Cave. And if I do a 360, that's everything within my immediate area that has been unlocked for the time being. So we're going to go towards the south of the map and unlock everything between where I am and where I'm going. So it appears this would be my next location. I appreciate you dying in one shotgun blast, man. I really do. Because otherwise, I was going to be in for... Not a fun time, but it appears that's all that was really going on here was you two guys. Why do I keep exploding? Where was that mine even at? Y'all are putting mines inside your... Your, like, roaming area. This is a powder ganger camp, just some assorted loot. It's really all it is. There's an armor case here, but... It's... Powder Ganger affiliated armor, so I'm not really that interested in it. There's some more dynamite on the counter, and then a note. The note is uh, pretty essential for one of the quests that if you go down the initial Powder Ganger route, you can read that and it'll do stuff for you, but I obviously didn't take the Powder Ganger route, so it basically is worthless for me. And for some reason, like right beside the Powder Ganger camp in this wrecked semi-truck, there's a cabinet that had alcohol in it, so if you're running a playthrough where you need alcohol, there's some free stuff. 
A lot of locations that are close to Good Springs in the beginning of the game just aren't going to be that interesting. That's what it is. It's fine. The uh, more interesting locations are definitely going to be towards the, uh, the uh, wasteland side of the map whenever we get back to like where the Mojave Outpost is, which is probably where we're going to end up being. We're heading this direction. I think this is just another Powder Ganger camp. If I was willing to take a bet, that's all this is. However, there are a lot more locations over here that have just now popped up, so... Could be of interest. Except there's nobody at this Powder Ganger camp. That's interesting. There's a lad's life in this box of books, if you're into that. A dino toy, if you're into that. Three bobby pins in this one. Squirrel stew, I'm not really into that. Another note, if you want to stop and read that, go ahead. It's for the quest if you do the powder ganger stuff, which again, I did not do. Uh, some random ass bighorners. I don't think y'all are aggro unless I do something to annoy you, so I'm just gonna run by you guys. You guys can live, because honestly, it's like 1 XP for a kill, and I'm not hurting for 1 XP. Alright, so now we've worked our way up here. I'm just gonna tag this train station, and then that location right there should be the Prim Pass, which I'm not gonna go through, because there is a Death Claw in there. And no matter how badass I might think I am as a character, I know that we just ain't beating the Deathclaw right now. Especially a New Vegas Deathclaw. Y'all are annoying in this game. Or no, this is going to be another Powder Ganger camp, I think. The Prim Pass is one of those ones. Alright, you're attacking me, you're dead. That is the lay of the land right now. You guys are coming after me with knives and dynamite. I wouldn't recommend it, but you guys can keep living your life however you want to. Doesn't impact me anyway, whatsoever. I just took everything on accident, naturally. Gotta disarm their stupid IEDs before I nuke myself. Are you just actually not a smart powder ganger? What is going on with you, bro? That's really all this place had going for it, was just the three powder gangers, and if you wanted the IEDs, you could take the IEDs. Alright, so instead of wasting time going that way, we're going to turn around and go the way that the game wants us to go, because I am getting lost in the uh, New Vegas sauce where I'm just exploring and having a fun time. How dare this game do that? Like I said, you guys probably won't attack me unless I do something to provoke you. I'm not going to provoke you. You guys can live your life. So we are going to go this way. Or do I go... There are too many places up here not to at least look up here. Can I actually get to these places? I'm not sure. We're going to find out. Okay, no, this is the Prim Pass. We're going to just tag this location, then, I, you know, turn around. Yep, we found it. Cool, cool. Later. I made that mistake the last time I did a recording of New Vegas for YouTube. Yep, y'all can have that death claw. It's fine. Then this location down here, I'm pretty sure, is completely boarded up. There might be something on one of the platforms, but I don't think we can get inside. And if we can't get inside, that generally means there's not anything super interesting here. Nope, we cannot get inside, but... That toolbox has stuff in it, if you're into that. And then there is another star bottle cap, which brings it up to the fourth one of this episode. Which means we are swimming in those things. There's also a first aid box. Bobby pin, medic, stim pack expired. Meh, whatever. We are just finding pretty much anything Star Bottle Cap related in this game thus far. This is like the perfect run of Star Bottle Cap. At the end of the episode, we will do a final check on how many Star Bottle Caps I've actually found before we even get to Novak, because it's 
a decent amount. Bark Scorpion. I missed. Tough. You're stupid. And now you're dead. Fantastic. Make our way back to the right real quick, because I know there's locations over here that I've missed. A campfire here. Why is there a campfire here? Oh my god, one of you has a grenade rifle. Oh, please stop it! Please stop! I can't even hit you. I just need you guys to die. Like, I'm not even hurt. I mean, in terms of HP, I'm not hurting. You are making a beeline for his corpse to pick up the grenade rifle, I'm sure. Four percent in a dream. Okay, we hit one shot. Okay, I thought I died. Okay. Okay, okay. That went from me wondering why there was a campfire to me crying for my mom and trying to figure out what was going on. Okay, so one of you had a grenade rifle. Cool. Awesome. Glad. And unfortunately for me, you shot all your grenades at me, so that's cool. Anyway, this is a prospector den, I think. These guys always have good loot on them. Whether you want it or not, it's always there. You can dip inside here, and I'm not sure if there are more enemies. There are more enemies in here. Hopefully they don't have grenade rifles. God, your DPS is insane and my rifle broke. Okay. For some reason, these guys are... You like that? Super soldiers. Why? Why are y'all so good at fighting? I accidentally became invisible because... Like I said in one of the earlier episodes, the, uh... The mod I installed that fixes the menu... Mouse acceleration only sometimes works. So it didn't work that time and I accidentally clicked on uh, my stealth boy instead of a stim pack. Anyway, if we continue to loot everything, I got a uh, rifle off this person that'll actually help me repair the rifle that broke when I came in here, so that's pretty neat, I guess. Combine those. It's a broken rifle. It's not actually gonna do anything for me, but I've got you now. Come on. Why? Why do you know where I'm at? That seems like cheating. Please shoot. I am surrounded. Please kill these people. I need you to not do what you're doing. Thank you for dying. Oh my god. Um, can I sleep? I just need to sleep off whatever just happened, so we're just gonna do that. And if you're keeping track, this is the fifth star bottle cap of the episode in the Prospector Den. So I guess me suffering through these guys spawn killing me a few times was worth it. 5mm pistol, or 5.56mm pistol rather. Good, good looks, man, I'll take it. That at least explains why I was getting one tapped when I walked through the door. Like I said, most of the actual loot you're going to be getting is going to be coming off of the prospectors themselves, so... As long as you understand that, I guess you're chillin'. And aside from the assorted loot on the prospectors... Yeah, bottle cap, and then... Basically, a lot of skill magazines, surprisingly. There's not really anything of interest in the uh, prospectors' den that's, like, lore-intensive or whatever. It's just the place the prospectors hung out. And they got wiped out, unfortunately, because 
Jackal Gang or Mean. The location directly in front of me is the racetrack, I believe. Then there's a location next to me. Uh, Jack Rabbit Springs, question mark? I think is what this is called. I'm just gonna unlock this location, then we're gonna dip skidoodle because this is a scary place. There are centaurs. Uh, centaurs and potentially super mutants are a little bit too much for me to bite off right now, so... We can outrun a centaur, we're just gonna run straight by them, not even try to fight them. And then same thing with, like, the racetrack, there's not really anything here that's super interesting by besides some random assorted loot, and then if you want to kill some ants, there are ants to kill. Or, I'm sorry, this is the dry lake. That's the racetrack, obviously. Just a neat little location that exists. Nothing really here. If you explore more of this stuff further, then there's, like, loot, I said, but... Right now, we're just kind of exploring. That's about all we're doing. However, just a bunch of ants. Um... Literally just a bunch of ants. A hell of ants! So many ants! Um, I don't want to fight you guys. I just want to go this way because there is the, uh... First of all, big-ass tree. Second of all, crash plane. Crash plane is actually what I'm interested in. Hella trees over here. Why so many trees? Those are added by the mod. So against my knowledge of Fallout, apparently the airplane actually isn't one of the locations that is marked. Morning Star Cave is up here. Um, okay, sure. What's in Morning Star Cave? Because I actually do not remember. I'm sure there's a Fallout expert watching this that's laughing that I'm going into Morning Star Cave, but I don't remember what's in here. Night Stalkers, of course. Alright, so I've determined that Morningstar Cave is just a do not fly zone. There are Night Stalkers currently chasing me. We're just gonna skadoodle away from them. Like, literally, not even entertain the thought of trying to fight them because it's just not possible. At my character's current level, it just is not a thing. So. They can continue to chase me all they want. I should be out of their roaming range, or at least they should be getting stuck on scenery and not being able to track me very well. That was objectively my first heat check of my New Vegas run. So, hashtag the more you know. Alright, take out those geckos, and then I'm not actually sure what this location down here would be. I've had to have discovered it at some point, I just don't remember. Crescent Canyon West, alright. So that is about all the further I'm going to venture into this part of the wasteland. We're going to make our way back towards the main road and go towards Nipton and through Nipton. And try to get some progress towards Novak, and we'll probably just end the episode at Novak. So I fast traveled to Nipton, we're going to go the normal way that most players will go. And then right up here, if you've played this game before, you know kind of what's about to go down up here. One of the most scripted ambushes in Fallout history. Which you can see right there, the thing that's going to initiate the ambush is that mine, under the traffic cone, which is impossible to defuse, there's a big horner. Two big horners, actually, not part of the ambush. Those guys right there, however, yes, those guys are. So in order to falling into their to avoid falling into their kill zone, we'll go up the mountain and come up behind them and ambush the ambush. And there's that dude over there too. So one of these guys has a grenade rifle. He's the guy we're going to want to try to avoid completely. Come on. Come on is what I'm basically saying. Now, we're so far away from that dude that he hasn't even registered that we're here and killing his buddies. And unfortunately, he's also the one with the grenade rifle. And we managed to sneak attack, crit him, so... 
That doesn't matter. Who are you guys? You guys are the Legion from Nipton. You guys are just now getting here? Y'all were last episode. And we have said level up now, so we have that going for us, so... First and foremost, we need to get medicine going the right direction, so stim packs will stop sucking. Get that to 35. Begrudgingly, we're going to invest some stuff into barter so I can actually get returns on my investments whenever I sell stuff. Beach to 35, lockpick to 25. And then the last three into guns. Now we have to work our way down the mountain without dying. And then try our best to get to that goo pile because I need some of the stuff that dude had. Actually, I lied. This dude also did not have the grenade rifle. So where's grenade rifle, man? That means there's a rogue agent somewhere, and that's terrifying. Now let's get some healing going to make our way towards... Novak, hopefully, at some point. There's some more marked locations around here I could discover, but unfortunately... I feel like if I come up here, because I saw people on this ridge... I don't know who those guys are, but they're not here in vanilla New Vegas, so we're gonna... Try our best to not fight them. Because if they're added in by content or mods, they can't be fun to fight. And then there's someone here. Who are you? Another gunslinger. Viper, dude. Why are you out here in the middle of nowhere? Okay, so I genuinely don't remember... Found Grenade Rifle Man. He's just out here in the middle of nowhere. They made the mistake of getting too close to me, so hopefully I can just two-tap them before they start doing stuff to me. Wow, that is not where I expected the Grenade Rifle person to be, but we found them. And they also had no ammo on them. Cool. So, with any luck, there will be a bed up here, because these guys have a really bad way of making me... Not have legs that work. Sadly, nope. No bed. However, maybe being up here can get me a look at who those guys are. Who are you guys? Nope, still out of my range. I, I don't need to know about you that badly. It looks like one of the restored content things, one of them found out about me. Um, no, that's okay. Uh, you have laser weapons. You are... okay. This is not what I wanted to do in my travel to Novak, but it appears it's what's happening. If you have laser weapons, that means your friends have laser weapons, and I just don't want to know about you that badly. The hell are you? A prospector, dude. There's so much going on that doesn't need to be going on right now. Deranged Bright Follower. Alright, I guess that tracks. I didn't want to fight you guys, but... I guess I'm here, and now I don't want to fight you guys again. Those shots with this plasma pistol are just going into the <coughs> side of the mountain. Prospector, if I were you, I would run. Because I have 1 HP. I'm sure you're not doing much better. We're just, we're just gonna dip, bro. Like, there's no... No logical reason for me to be taking this fight right now with the amount of HP I have. Right now, it is a survival tactic. We just need to get to Novak. We are running by everything. Next episode, we might come back and revisit some of these locations. Right now, Novak is my only, my only goal. And if we keep going this way, I haven't made enemies with the uh, Caesar's Legion and there are Caesar's Legion guys there and there. So I probably could have went that way a little bit safer than where I'm going, but once we get to Ranger Station Charlie, which is right there, we can... What the fuck are you? Why? Why are there so many enemy factions? Jay Sawyer Ultimate Edition, what the fuck? Alright, so I'm gonna help out the NCR soldiers and just hope that they appreciate it. And now Caesar's Legion's fighting. What? Dude, Jay Sawyer Ultimate Edition has destroyed this game. On the way to Novak, there are NCR soldiers fighting Viper Gunslingers and fighting Legionnaires. To the NCR's credit... Oh, it's come down to a 1v1. Who's going to win? 
The NCR won this little skirmish, but the only problem is there's more up there. Like I said, none of these people, and then there's Powder Gangers over there, I think. This is just... There is so much happening right now that doesn't need to be happening. Like I said, I'm relatively safe right now because I haven't pissed off Caesar's Legion. I actually have been helping the NCR, so they're not mad at me. But all the enemy factions that don't need to know about me are just spawning in and coming for me. And also, none of y'all have healing items. <laughs> so, like, the lore behind what's happening in this part of the world in vanilla New Vegas... These guys are scoping out the ranger station. And they're setting up ambushes for patrols. And I think this man just... Tom brady it. This soldier with a throwing spear. So, Caesar's Legion did come out on top here. So, the goal of this episode was to unlock as many fast travel locations and discover as many places as I could while still getting to Novak. At this point, we've gone past the discovering things part of the journey, and we're just we're just getting to Novak. That that is. That is it, man. There has been so much stuff that has just not went the correct way. <laughs> so we're going to discover Ranger Station Charlie and not go talk to them. We're just going to keep on skirting up the road. And then whenever we get into Novak, the episode is ending and I'm going to cry and heal and hope for the best. Like, to be fair, I knew that I was restoring content and the J Sawyer Ultimate Edition mod made certain things different and made certain things more challenging. What I was experiencing on my way here today, and trying to unlock as many locations as I could, I just didn't expect, honestly. And that's on me for not doing my research properly, I suppose, but my god, just the difficulty jump between what was happening in Vanilla New Vegas the last time I cared to play it, and what's going on in this modded version that I'm running right now, just... Boys, that is... If you come up with a solid tactical game plan, you're chillin'. We're in Novak, by the way. You might be able to take down everything that gave me issues today. But if you're just trying to casually play New Vegas, it definitely makes it a little bit more difficult than normal. But, with that said, we are in Novak. I'm going to go into the courtyard where it is complete safety in here. If you enjoyed this episode by any stretch of the imagination, leave that like and sub down below. Next episode, we'll be back on the main quest line for the most part. This episode, though, just an eye-opener for what these mods have actually done to my game. So, until next episode, boys and girls, a pizza.